My name is Ann Curley, and I'm the Operations Manager Curator at the Muskoka Discovery Center. Many years ago, I started uh, as a summer student when I was currently enrolled in a, a college program, a tourism and management program at St. Clair College in Windsor. And then when I graduated from college, I was able to secure a full-time position uh, with the Ministry of Tourism, uh, working out in the customer sales and service department and marketing. By the time I left the ministry, I was the regional manager for uh, visitor information services from Windsor to Cornwall. You're dealing with the customers, the visitors to Ontario um, that are traveling, they're having their vacation, so you're, you're spending a lot of time, you're learning all about customers and all their, their needs and how to work efficiently and effectively with customers and, and how to deliver excellence in customer service. You know, we were looking at key steps, so key steps would be, um, first of all, establishing eye contact with them greeting them, making them feel welcome in our visitor center, and that we had uh, the best product knowledge possible on our province. And if we didn't have it, we knew where to find it. We, we were very well trained. Um, we learned how to uh, communicate effectively with the customers and learn how to make them happy. Like it was, it was, we did our best in making sure that they had the most enjoyable experience, because it's all about the experience and the memories that they're gonna create while traveling. So when I left the Ministry of Tourism, I was uh, honored to be offered the role of the uh, Executive Director of the Gravenhurst Chamber of Commerce. It was a new position, and they had changed the position because they had wanted to have a new focus on tourism for Gravenhurst. They had gone through some tough times, and they realized that tourism was, um, you know, many of the businesses are already directly or indirectly related to the tourism industry. So, and again, that's where my volunteer experience came in because all those skills that I learned uh, being a volunteer um, allowed me to then pursue this career and, may, and be successful as the applicant. A uh, skilled work, workforce is important, and it may not necessarily be, as I said, you know, the skills that are, you know, your, the degrees, but it, it's, it's, if you're working in various industries, you need to have the skills that support that industry. So you have to be able to like people if you're going to work with the people industry. If you're going to be in a technical job, you have to have the technical skills. This new world is all about change and adapting to change, so I think everyone needs to be better prepared for that. Here at the Muskoka Discovery Center, our job is to present um, the history of Muskoka, the culture and heritage of the area, and we try and do that in an educational and entertaining way. We have something for everyone from the ages of 1 to 101. So we have incredible history of Muskoka and the area to tell the history of the steamships, the wooden boats, the resort hotels. We talk about life on the water, and we're also talking about life in the water through new partnerships that we've formed. We're working with the friends of the Muskoka watershed and we've expanded our storyline. We've also expanded our um, demographics by working with a new family engagement area. In museums in general and particularly at our museum, uh, we have seen an incredible increase in new uh, Canadians, new immigrants coming uh, to the area to learn and discover about the province that they're living in, the community they're living in. They're very, very appreciative and knowledgeable about museums and the role that they play in the education uh, for themselves and for their children. Okay, so when I was teaching, I have taught part-time at a community college, and I was teaching mostly in the, the marketing department or the tourism department. So I taught marketing, customer sales and service, transportation, um, a whole bunch of, of different courses. But one of the most important uh, messages that I always tried to to teach the students was that yes you can learn everything here at school but once you're out working or you you need to take advantage of every opportunity that's presented to you and volunteering is so key because volunteering offers you the opportunities to learn new experiences and gain new skills I can speak about that because that's exactly how I received additional jobs as I moved around and, and changed my careers there's a number of key things that they need to have they need to First of all, love working with the public. Um, it's not an easy job. People think it is, but it's not. It, but it's, some, it's a very rewarding job because once you've helped someone and you've been able to encourage them to do something, it, it's just a, an inner satisfaction that you receive. But it, it's fun, it's great. Uh, it's long hours. It's, uh, you have to be creative. You have to be adapting to change on a regular basis. Teamwork is, is huge, collaboration is huge, building partnerships is huge. Like it, it's, uh, it's very, very important because we can't do it alone. It's necessary to have so many 
different skills. You have to know a little bit about finances. You have to know a little bit about organization. You have to know how to put a business plan together. You know how to have to supervise staff. You have to know how to market, how to do sales. Like it's, you have to know a lot about, a little bit about a lot of things. I would say that you need to, while you're working, you need to work at um, building relationships. Relationships are always important in any job that you're doing because you never know where you're going to go or what door is going to open because of the relationships that you've built. Whether it's for your, your current job and how you can expand the business by developing a new partner or if it's you personally, that there could be a new opportunity awaiting. Um, I would say that um, continue to learn it's and uh, the world is changing and business is changing so fast nowadays that you have to keep up to date on um, on what's going on I would say get involved in your community get to know your community your community businesses your community partners um, it's fun and you'll have a great career